afternoon, everybody. Dylan here with the Smart Real Estate Group and Dillier's Property Management, talking all things real estate as much as I can here. So, um, good topic today. One, like, share, comment, however you found us. Please continue to do so, and you do that by subscribing, liking, and finding us. We also do love hearing what you have to say, so don't really be afraid to share stuff. You guys will see my walls are bar bare today. We're in the process of moving, so the next few weeks are going to be a little interesting trying to get some stuff done. Um, but stay tuned for our new office tour. Today, wanted to talk a little bit about the eviction process. And every county is going to be a little differently. For example, Winnebago has a commissioner. Uh, Calumet does not. They run actual hearings the whole time through small claims. So every county is going to be different. Just remember that. Basically, and this is general terms, consult your lawyer, make sure you know what you're doing, all that jazz. Basically, somebody has a lease, they stop paying, they need two notices, five day and a 14 day. First to five day, hey, give them a chance to catch up, pay bills, get caught up. After that, 14 day basically says, hey, adios, get out of here, you know, we're done, we're ending this, and then you can decide what to do after that. Uh, if they do not move, leave at the 14 days as you have requested, then you get to file, go to court. Usually once you file for court, it's two to three weeks, depending on the time of year and the county, right? And obviously then that can start a whole process. And we've had some that go quick. Tenants like show up, go, yeah, we don't need to be here. We're done. And we have some that we work out before and they get to stay. And then we have some that drag out for five months. So that's kind of how that goes. The other way is someone doesn't have a lease anymore. They're month to month, let's say, or you're at the end of their lease and you decide you're just going to end for whatever reason, the, the lease agreement per the, per the agreement or use that method and get them a 28 day notice or a notice to vacate saying you're ending the lease. And if they do not at that time, you get to file for eviction and then start that process, which we've already touched base on. So every county is a little different and some of them will be easy to work with. And depending on the tenant situation, what you got going on, could get weird, could go sideways. Either way, it's part of real estate and investing. Good luck.